In this brief tutorial, I want to work within Adobe Premiere Pro CS4 to make sure of two things. One, we need to make sure that you are sending a signal out to your external monitor for previewing your edits, but also if you're working within an HD project, you see here that I'm working in a 720p HD project, you want to make sure that you are sending out an HD signal to your external monitor. I've uh, heard of problems of people that uh, are unable to preview their clips on their monitors and also I've heard of people that were unable to preview their clips with an HD signal. All they're getting on their external monitor is an SD signal. So we want to take a look at this. You see I've got my project open. I've just laid a few clips down here on the timeline. And so to make sure that I'm previewing clips from my source monitor or my program monitor out to an external monitor, I'll first want to go to Edit and then go to Preferences. Under Preferences, you're going to go to Player Settings. Now you see here that my default player is my Matrox player. That's because I have the Matrox RTX2 video card installed for capture and for rendering and playback. Depending on your own video card that you have installed, this might be a little bit different. So you want to check with the uh, documentation that came with your video card. But on the drop down menu, I have two options Adobe Player and Matrox Player. So you want to make sure that whatever you have selected here matches the video card you have installed. I click OK to come out of that. And now anything that I preview here in my source monitor or my program monitor is going to show up on my external monitor as well. But because we're in an HD project, we want to make sure that any cuts that we are previewing, as you can see here, just a few shots from around my office, we want to make sure that those are going out with an HD signal. To check that, you want to go up here to Sequence and go to Sequence Settings. Under Sequence Settings here in the General tab, up here at the top is an option for Playback Settings. We're going to click that and take a look. Under the Video Output tab, you notice here again, this is the Matrox RTX2 output settings. My master output format has been selected to 720p at 60 frames. This ensures that anything sent out to my external monitor will be an HD signal. My option here, my other option here is uh, NTSC, which will be a standard def signal. So I've selected 720p at 60 frames to make sure that everything going out to my monitor is going to be in HD so I can properly preview the edits. So we click OK there, that's all good, click OK there, and now everything that we uh, preview for on our external monitor will be in full HD.